In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to send email on behalf of another individual without actually accessing their mailbox. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my account and come to the settings wheel or the options wheel, down to mail settings, and then I'm going to come here to accounts and I want to add another email because it says here, you know, send mail as add another email address. Google will then bring up this window and here it would be the name and in this case I'm going to put in IMT training services and the training email address. In your situation you would put your supervisor or the person that you will be sending email on behalf of. And then I go next step and it says you know, before you can send email your training has to verify you have permission to do that. So you'll hit the send verification email and then it will come up with this information here and I'm for the moment going to minimize this and I'm going to bring up now the training email account. So you'll see here that a confirmation has been sent and the person that you'll be sending email on behalf of they can either give you this number to type in or simply click this link to confirm that you have the right to send email on their behalf. So I'm going to click that link. It comes up and says that you know the user may now send email as training at apu.edu. So now I'll return to my email account. And you know you'll notice here it says you know, both I can send email as myself and as the training account. And um, right now it's showing unverified that it hasn't completely synced yet. So I'll go back to my inbox and when I hit compose I'll notice here that I have a from. So it has actually verified and I can say this is going to be from the training services and then I can type in the information. Now you'll notice there is not an auto signature down below. So what I can do is then go here to back to the options wheel down to mail settings and I'm going to scroll down under the general tab. I'm going to go down here to where it has the signature option and I see now a drop down. So I can change the drop down to training services and here I can put in my auto signature. And probably if I do like this a URL I can highlight it, click the link button so that it will definitely make it a hyperlink and I would put whatever information I needed here and then I could scroll down say save changes and when I compose, I have my signature file for Holly Magnuson, and then I have my signature file for the training. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact training at apu.edu. Thank you.